In this video, we're going to look at how we can multiply two binomials together. Now, an example of a binomial is something with two terms. So it'll be something like a plus b times maybe c plus d, two binomials that are multiplied together. And what we'll do to multiply these is we will distribute each term through the second parentheses. In other words, there's this a at the beginning that's going to be multiplied by the c, giving me a c, and then we'll multiply the a by the next term, the d, giving us a d. Then we come back to this b that we've kind of ignored up till now and distribute that b through, giving us b c and b d. Oh, I don't like that color. Let's go purple. This process of distributing the first term through and then the second term through is sometimes called FOIL. And the reason it's called FOIL is that stands for first, where I multiplied the first a times the first c, then the outside, where we multiply the outside numbers, a's on the outside, times d on the outside. Then i stands for the inside getting multiplied together, so the b on the inside times the c on the inside. And then finally, last, where b is the last part of the binomial and d is the last part of the polynomial. Basically, what we want to do, though, is multiply every term in the first polynomial by every term in the second polynomial. So in this example, when we see 4x minus 2 times 5x plus 1, that means we're going to start by multiplying the 4x through. 4x times 5x is 20x squared. 4x times 1 is just 4x. And then we come back and multiply the second term, the negative 2, through the next parentheses. Negative 2 times 5x is negative 10x. And finally, negative 2 times 1 is negative 2. Often, after we've gone through and done this FOIL, first, outside, inside, last, there are some like terms that we need to combine, and often, we'll find them in the middle. Not always, but often. You'll see here, we've got 4x and negative 10x we can combine. So for a final answer, we've got 20x squared minus 6x, 4 minus 10, minus 2 is what we get when we multiply our two binomials together. Let's try another example. Here we have 3x minus 7 times 2x minus 8. And again, we're just going to grab the first term in that binomial and distribute it through the second binomial. 3x times 2x is 6x squared. 3x times negative 8 is negative 24x. Now we grab the second term. In this case, it's a negative 7 and distribute it through the next polynomial. Negative 7 times 2x is negative 14x. And finally, negative 7 times negative 8 is positive 56. Again, we finish by looking for like terms. In the middle again, we find them. Combining the negative 24x and negative 14x, we'll end up with 6x squared minus 38x. plus 56 for our final solution. So when we're multiplying two binomials together, all we have to do is take every term from the first polynomial and distribute it onto every term of the second binomial.